Okay, good morning guys and welcome back again to another episode on Ton Voyage. Okay, so on the last video, uh, we introduced no, uh, to you guys what is Amber no? and the importance of what it's for and no, what is uh, the Amber manual okay? and what is stated on our um, SOLAS and our IMSR manual. So for this video, we are going to do the actual typing. No? We are going to go to our Inmarsat terminal and we're going to make a position report to Amber. Okay, going to try to send and uh, we will show you guys how it's being done. Okay, so I hope you guys will learn something on this video and come join me and let's go to the terminal. Go. Alright, so um, this is our Inmarsat terminals. Okay, we have two pieces on board. Here's one and here's the other. No? Um, sa barko ninyo or on your ships, no, it might be a different setup but on our ship, this is how it looks like. We have two terminals. One keyboard for each one here and the other one is in here. Alright, so and ours, we have a train and train Sailor TT. 3606E. So on your ship, maaring iba, no? You may have uh, on board your ships a JRC, a Furuno, or whatever maker, no? Or brand you have on board. But for our ship, and we will be having an example through our train and train. Okay? Kasi iba iba yung itsura niyan, eh? but generally uh, the operation should be the same. This is, you can see how old fashioned, no? Napakaluma. Tignan nung ating um, window okay because this is already a long time ago if you can see here closely no this used to be a floppy disk port it's already upgraded to an SD card hmm? SD card na tayo ngayon okay but this is uh, this used to be a floppy disk port okay, and other ships I was I was in floppy disk pa yun nandiyan eh. pero ito SD card na all right Okay, so I decided that I want to make a position report. So we're going to try to make a position report no, to Amber using our Inmarsat. So ito yung mga kailangan natin lagay. So we're going to put this into this. Okay, sa ating Inmarsat. So the first step you know, is to make a new file. Okay. So actually, itong screen na to, yan na yung typing area mo. Uh, if you're going to type something, it's going to be on this screen. So first of all, and just left, right, left, right, or you know, in our Inmarsat, if you see this color blue, then you can press the corresponding letter. So if you want to file, you can press F. Now if you want to edit, you can press E. Transmit, you can press T. You know, and so on and so forth. And mga letters na yan. Okay, so you can do that or if you want to go to file, then you can just go there and press enter. Okay, like a normal way. So, so let's just do that. And, punta tayo dito sa new ASCII. Okay, so what is ASCII? ASCII is American Standard Code for Information Interchange. So, ayan yung ibig sabihin yan. And, syempre, kailangan isa lang yung standard code para could be all uh, compatible you know, yung ating um, pinapadala na file okay so let's make a new one okay so ayan no? now you can start typing so dito natin ilalagay yung mga information na meron tayo dito okay so let's try since we're going to report to Amber, so we're going to put Amber. No, if you're going to report dun sa ibang reporting systems like Chillrep, JustRep, no, or the other reporting systems na meron tayo, then you're going to put dun sa ano sa Marep or Chillrep dito. But since we're going to make a report for Amber, we're going to put Amber. So let's go. Position report. Yeah. Okay. Then next is the name of the ship, Ayan. A, no? Ayan. and then call sign. Ayan. Ayan na lang natin to. K. 
Kilo Gold Juliet Foxtrot. And then that's the end of our alpha line. So two slashes. Important. What is Bravo? No, Bravo is our um, the time of report. No, kasi atong time na atong time na to, yan yung associated with the position given. Okay. So for example, now no, our this is the UTC time. No, it's already twelve twenty. No. Uh, on UTC but actually we are on plus one okay so and it's already 121 board but uh, uh, we're going to use the UTC so ito yung nilalagay natin oras so for example I'm going to send it at 0100 UTC Okay, so we're going to put 0100. Tapos natin. We have a different examples dito on how to um, make in one format ng ating date. So this is the day. This is the time. Zulu for UTC. Tapat UTC lalagay dito. And no, the month. Okay, so ito yung gagawin ko. Itong second one. Okay, so today is today is the 20th of March okay so let's do that okay so, slash slash okay so that's how you make the format okay Charlie line okay so this is the position yeah. Charlie you can check our position here anyway yeah. there we go for anything first Okay, and so the next part of our position report is the echo and foxtrot. Okay, so what is the echo? Ayan. Current course. Okay, so our course now, yung tumbok ng barko namin is 090. So, Fox Trot line, no? estimated average speed over the ground. Yan, over the ground daw. Yan. So, for my point, you don't need to put the point. No? Three digit number representing the tenths of a knot. Okay, so let's make one. Since di naman kami gumagalaw, so I'm going to put 000. zero, zero. And it denotes we are not moving. Yan, zero knots. Okay, so what else do we need? Nothing position report. Yeah. So I okay. Yeah, no, this is our destination. Next port. Okay. So I. So we are going to Tanger Med. So yeah, no, I already put the position of our Tanger Med here. Okay, so the next line in our position report is the M line, no? Sabi dito it's optional but um, this is just to provide information that the best way to contact the vessel in case of distress. Okay, so dito may nakalagay na ano, no, in Marsat. But since our vessel, no, yung sa amin, yung barko namin, we're only doing a coastal line. So, we are readily available at the VHF, no? Napakadali lang kaming matawagan sa VHF. Um... So I think I will put here VHF. No? No? I think we will put our MMSI. No, mas maganda. Yeah. Okay. Good. The last one uh, we have the Y. Okay. What is the Y line? Okay. So itong Y line we are only putting this if. For example, you want to relay the information to another reporting system. So, for example, you are sailing in Japan or Australia or Chile. No, gusto mong i-relay sa kanila yung information na binibigay natin. Um, we can put the Y line. But since I'm not sailing in any of these, so I'm not gonna put any Y line yan. Kasi I'm I'm only sending directly to Amber the Y line. Anyway, it's only yeah no. It's only optional, okay. So lastly, we're going to put the Zulu, no E O R or the end of report. Yeah, end of report. So yeah, so yeah, the end of report. So all right. So that looks like a good 
position report no Ayan. so this one we can try to send already all right so escape tayo para pumunta tayo dun sa taas Ayan. okay so when you have this ready um, we can transmit this already no pwede na natin i-transmit to Okay, so it depends again. No, sabi ko sa inyo, this the operations will depend on the type of uh, inmarsat you have. No, kung meron kung anong klaseng brand meron kayo. So I, I uh, suggest that you read your manual on the operations of your inmarsat. So dito transmit yan. Okay, so we're here on the address book. We're going to try to put Amber. No, according to our manual, um, binigay nila dito yung email address ng Amber. So this is the Amber's address. And okay, so. Here on the address book, I put the Amber and then the address here. And we're going to put email. Dito. Okay, so when you're done, we will we'll go to OK. Ayan. And then we're going to select Amber. Okay, okay. so ayan. No? This is Amber. Uh, so here we're going to choose our Land Earth Station. Okay, so previously it was on station 12, but according to our Amber manual, uh, it should be free of charge now if you're going to use Telenor. Okay, so here in the Atlantic Ocean region east, the uh, South Burida. So let's press the space bar and the space, and we're going to enter on this window service provider. Hanap na service provider natin. So we're going to use Telenor. Ayan, no? Land station is 101 Comsat. No? This is America. But um, we have a lot of different other land stations like Ake. No, Ake. This is in um, Oslo, no, sa Norway. Okay, that is that. This is French. Stratos. This is British. No, and the other. No, Station Twelve. This is in the Netherlands. Yeah, Station Twelve. So Ake. Yeah, no, Sentosa. Sa ano to? Singapore. If I'm not mistaken, KDDI, this is, I think, Japan. No? And, ito not available in this ocean region. Okay? But for this region, ito yung available. And sabi dito, we're going to use Teleno. So, dito tayo sa 01, no? sa Comsat. So, we're going to select this. So, let's select. Ayan. Ito, routine. No? Since it's not a distress, routine lang yan. So, you have to select no request confirmation kasi ito pag sinabing request confirmation once na nasend yung email it's going to send back a message to sa inmarsat natin that the message was successfully sent no to the kung ano address yung nilagay natin dito but for this case Amber okay and print no uh, it would also be nice to print para may record tayo magpiprint yan sa ating ano narrow band direct printing no the MBDP printer natin Okay, so we have two, one per each terminal. So, yon para dito and this one para dito. Okay, and then immediate transmission. So, it's going to send immediately. So, now all we have to do is go to send and press enter. Okay, tas mag send na yan. No, but since this is just a sample report, I'm not going to send this. No, this is just for everybody to, um, to see. No, and Malaman, no? So that guys is the position report to our Amber using our Inmarsat. I hope you guys learned something okay uh, regarding this. Alright? Well, that's it for the vlogging. Um, stay tuned. And on the next topic, we'll be talking about how to test our SART. No? It will just be a quick video and how to test our EPIR. No? So... Thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and if you learned something, uh, subscribe on my channel and uh, we will go together no, uh, on this C series no, on my vlogs. Alright, so see you on the next video. Bon voyage.